Welcome to Clement Osa Ministries Live. Mm. It's a joy to be able to bring forth the word of God to you today. Amen. We're about to enter 2016. Mm. Glory to God. Amen. Wow, hallelujah. Clement Osa Ministries Live. How are you doing today? Praise God. If you just join us, God bless you on the Insta Lively, on Google Hangouts. Praise God, Google Plus. YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. It's a great day to be alive. It is a great day to be alive. Yes. Praise God. Mm. Hello. Praise God. Blessing of God today. The last few minutes of 2015. We're about to enter into a brand new year. Mm. 2016. Thank you. God bless you. Mm. We're going to enter into a brand new year. 2016. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. It's a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. We thank, thank God. You. For this powerful blessing, mm. for this joy, for this enthusiasm, mm. for the greatness that he has given to us, for the greatness that we have mm. in this life. Mm. Amen. Amen. What a joy. Mm. I want to bring forth to you our message, praise God, our New Year 2016 message, mm. which I believe will be a blessing to you. Amen. If you have your Bibles, you can open it. If you don't have it, that's fine. Amen. It, it's Amen. a blessing of God. As you listen, thank you. And I'm honored that you're watching and listening to Clement Osa Ministries Live. God bless you. On Facebook, on Twitter, on Google Plus, on YouTube. God bless you. Amen. Right. If you're joining us from Hangouts as well, on Google Plus, God bless you. Amen. What a blessing of God. Praise God. For the next few minutes, we're going to be talking about something very powerful, something very beautiful. We've had a wonderful year, 2015. And 2016 is going to be an even better year for you. Amen. Amen. Last Sunday, we talked about, praise God, mm. life is a victory, not a fight. Yes. Life is a victory of fact. People have gone through difficulties and situations in 2015. Amen. Mm. But we're not going to look back at 2015 and look at the difficulties that you've gone through. Mm. Look at the situations that has been bad. Mm. No. Instead, we are going to look forward and say, the next Part of my life is going to be better Amen. than the previous. Amen. Amen. That is what God wants. That's how life is supposed to be. Life is supposed to be a life of enjoyment, a life of joy, a life of peace, a life of glory. That's how life is supposed to be. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 54. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Christ Jesus. So God gives us the victory. God doesn't give us evil. God doesn't give us weakness or wickedness. God doesn't give us struggle. God doesn't give us uh, difficulties. God gives us peace. He gives us joy. He gives us blessings. He gives us health. God wants you to understand that health. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for watching. I, 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 it's a blessing. God bless you. But yes, indeed, God has not come to give us religion, another religion, another way of, 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 of serving him in terms of going to the building or going to a church building or going to a, a place of worship. You see, this world is, has a structure that controls. Mm. And that structure aims to hold you, to limit you. Praise God. Mm. You know, they say the sky is the limit. The reason why they say, oh, the sky is the limit is because we are limit-minded. The world, people, human beings are limit-minded. Mm. In God, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens us. We can do yes. all things, mm. praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We can do all things through Christ. As my wife said, praise God, this coming year is a year of authority. Mm. It's a year of taking authority. Mm. Praise God. We can do all things. Mm. Who said you couldn't do that? Who said you couldn't invent that? Who said you mm. couldn't write a book or you couldn't have a ministry or you couldn't, praise God, have that business? Who said? Mm. Praise God. Is it your father who said? Is it your 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 grandparents or your lineage or where you come from? In Bolivia, they don't do that, so therefore you can't do it. That's wrong. Mm. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. You are who God says you are. Yeah. We are who God says we are. Mm. So God has given us victory. Mm. So we have now the responsibility to walk in that victory, to refuse yeah. what the world wants us to be, to refuse what the world says about us. We are not what the world says about us. Mm -hmm. We are what God says about us. And Man. God has said powerful stuff yeah. about us. Praise mm -hmm. God. So in 1 Corinthians 15, 57, it says, sorry, 1 Corinthians 15, 57, but thanks be to God, who gives us victory mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Mm -hmm. We read it last week. God gives us the victory. Yes. 
God doesn't give you a struggle. No. Thanks be to God who always gives us what the victory. Okay. So when next you go to church or you hear a preacher, you hear a Christian say, well, God gave you struggles, tell them it's not a God that you know. Mm. God doesn't give you struggles. Mm. When next you hear, say, oh, God gave me difficulties. Mm. I mean, today, praise God, there's going to be, you know, things going on. <laughs> praise God. Testimonies. Now, there's going to be churches happening, crossover service. Praise God. Mm. It doesn't... <laughs> Come on, take care. We are superstitious. Christians are two people are superstitious in general. The Christians who are not supposed to be are even more superstitious mm. than unbelievers. Amen. Mm. All our lives, praise God, mm. we have been grown to think that except we spend a New Year service in a biblical church, mm. then it means that something's not going to be right, right for that year. That's wrong. Mm. That's wrong because that's superstition. Mm. Amen. Amen. That is what that's wrong. Praise God. Amen. Absolutely wrong. Totally wrong. Praise God. Mm. It is your heart. No matter what you do right now, where you are right now, 2016 will be a bad year, except you decided to be a good year. Amen. It's all in your hands. Mm. It's all in our authority. Mm. It's all in our abilities. It's our responsibility. Mm. Praise God. We manifest what we want to manifest. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. We manifest what we want to want manifest. Because the world is minded. Yeah. Negativity minded. We look at the cup half empty. Instead of looking at it half full. Mm. Amen. It's the same thing, isn't it? If a cup is half empty and half full, it's the same thing in terms of content. But it's different in terms of where you are going mm. with that cup. Yeah. If you say this cup, is, oh, this cup is half empty, praise God, then you are saying that it is half empty. Your focus is on the emptiness that is there, the other half of the emptiness. Mm. The way you look at the cup and say this cup is half full, that means your focus is on the half full that is in the cup. Mm. So your focus is on the content in the cup that is there now, rather than the content that is not there. Praise God, it's all about perception. Amen? Amen. It's all about what? Perception. Perception. So life is a victory, not a fight. So God has not given you struggles, has not given you difficulties, Amen. has not given you trials and tribulations, Amen. has not given you sickness and disease to go through, Amen. has not caused death in the family to Amen. teach you a lesson, no. doesn't give you accidents to teach you a lesson. No. God doesn't do that. No. God doesn't give you sickness and disease to, yes, you know someone who has died, somebody who has sickness, who has disease, yes, you know, I know, praise God, we all know, praise God, but that's, that doesn't make it right. No. And there's a danger in Christianity, there's a danger in people who say they believe God, they take an experience and preach or teach an experience. God is the one who teaches an experience. Because an experience, praise God, has the limitation, there's a word again, of the person who's experiencing it. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. An experience has a limitation of the person who is experiencing it. Limitation. We are limit minded. Mm. Praise God. But God wants us to break out of that limit mindedness into something that he has for us. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Our message for 2016 is going to be taken from Matthew's Gospel. Let's read Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 and 2. Praise God. Mm. Matthew chapter 8, 1 and 2. Matthew is in the New Testament. If you have a Bible, if you don't have a Bible, that's fine. You can write it down or you can just listen. That would be a blessing. Thank you very much. Matthew chapter 8. Are we there? Yep. Verse yep. 1 and 2. Mm. <laughs> Let me, let's read Matthew chapter 7 from verse 28. Amen. Well, let's read from verse 27 so we can get a context and understand it beautifully. Now verse 27 says in verse uh, chapter 7, verse 27, Matthew, the rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Look at verse 28. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teachings. There was a crowd. Because he taught us one who had what? Authority. authority. There's the word authority. And not as their teachers of the law. There's just an ordinary teacher, but there's also one who teaches as one who has authority. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Mm. The difference between a leader and somebody, praise God, who manages, or somebody who is just a teacher, or someone who is just the head of a company, praise God, is mm. the leader acts 
like he's got authority. Mm. Amen. Amen. That's what the world wants to see. They want to see somebody who walks or acts in situations like he's got what? Authority. Mm. You, want, you wonder why uh, groups, praise God, who do bad things, they have leaders who are charismatic, who are forward. A forward thinking leader, praise God, is it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. Mm. If you have faith, you can be a good faith, you can be faith for someone that is good or faith for someone that is bad, it will work. Mm. Yeah. 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 Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. It will work. Hallelujah. Amen. It will what? It will work. Amen. Amen. Because remember, faith is dependent upon your perception. Mm. Say it again. Faith is dependent upon your, how you perceive a thing. Mm. Praise God. That's what says. For him who comes to God must believe that he exists mm. and that he's a rewarder. So do you perceive that God exists? Do you perceive that God is a reward of them who diligently seek him? Mm. Praise God. If he is, I was... I was reading this, the Bible um, this afternoon and I just thought, so I said, someone's coming my spirit. Why do people pray? Have you, have you ever seen a child? We call God our father, mm. isn't it? Mm. God is our father, yes? Yeah. We are his children, we are children of God. Have you ever seen a child? Like Father John Elsie, has Joseph and Elsie ever said to mommy and daddy, praise God, myself and my wife, mommy and daddy, oh, protect us, protect us, protect us. They never pray or said to us to protect them, do they? No. So why then do we, as children of God, we go crying? There are people who are in church, they're crying, oh God, protect me for the next tw uh, 365 years of 2016, uh, 365 days of 2016. They are praying and crying and... Sh you, you, we can go through what we, what we call go through the motions. Mm. Praise God. It does, someone says it doesn't hurt anybody. No, it doesn't hurt anybody. Praise God. Mm. But guess what? It hurts you. You say, how? I explain. If you go through the motions and you are crying and begging God to do stuff for you, mm. then what you are doing, you are training your subconscious mind. Because remember, a human being acts 90% from their subconscious. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. 90%, you want to go to the toilet. You don't say, do I want to, let me say, do I want to go to the toilet? No, you don't think you don't think think about it. You just feel like going and then you get up. You don't tell yourself, come and get up, and then you get up. No, you just get up and go and do a wee wee. Press go, go to the toilet, isn't it? Mm. You are acting from your subconscious. Our behavior is 90% subconscious. Praise God. That's why mm. hunger comes subconsciously. Praise God. Mm. When you're feeling cold, it comes subconsciously. This is how God has created the body. Mm. So that's why whenever we do things, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Why? Because faith has to go into the subconscious. Mm. So whenever we keep praying and crying and say, God protect us, what they're saying is, you are not really sure that God will protect you, so you have to ask. Mm. Jesus said, Seek if as the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things will be added. What he's saying is because before he says the pagans seek after these things, they seek after food, clothing, the lilies of the valley, they, they don't ask, they never toil. Praise God, they don't ask. The bed of the air, they have their sins to it. Praise God, how much more you, a child of God, will he not give you the kingdom? Mm -hmm. What the Bible says, mm -hmm. we act as if God is. Not capable. We act as if God is somebody who is withholding his hand. You know, trying to see whether... <laughs> praise God. Amen. Like Santa said, let's see who's been naughty and nice. Praise God. If it's a, person, a child who's not naughty, then Santa will give me a gift. You see, that perception, it has pervaded our natural living. Mm. That is deriving us, praise God, mm. out of what God has for us. Now, 